Welcome to the session. It's called Human Signatures for Digital World. My name is Ken. I'm Marketing Director at Walker for Business. And with me today is Peter Sommer, Senior Vice President at Walker for Business. He's globally responsible for the e-signature and document management side of the Wacom business. So, Peter, many in today's audience know Wacom for their creative products. What kind of processes does Wacom for Business support? Yeah, good question, Ken. So we use actually similar technology from a hardware perspective, plus dedicated software for signature-centric document workflows, which means whenever people in important moments need to sign documents, give their consent, we have a solution for that with partners. And we try with that, we try to make digital workflows and in-person workflows very efficient and secure, but also keep the human element yeah. so that signing feels nice and feels very human and usual like in the past like in the past because yeah there, there are still moments where people prefer handwritten signatures right sure there's many moments where people prefer handwritten signatures because they are perceived to have a higher trust level and security level uh, we have learned this in thousands of years and that moment we want to transfer it into the digital way because here it's sometimes getting lost just click a button or scan a barcode or something yeah Interesting. So, um, so we'll show three cases today that demonstrate how Wacom is exactly upgrading this human handwritten signature for a digital world. Which ones are those and why did you pick them? Mm -hmm. So we have one case uh, with Samsung in Asia Pacific. And that is very interesting because they're showing workflows on a mobile device. So they're using handwritten signatures on a mobile device. We'll have one partner, Imosign from France, who is delivering solutions for real estate companies and workflows. And you can imagine mm -hmm. a real estate uh, workflow when you buy a house or something, it has a high value and you want to have a very nice uh, signature cer ceremony around this, mm -hmm. around the transaction here. And then of course, a uh, very nice one that's actually bridging the digital and paper world and that is MetLife, which is one of the biggest pharmacies uh, and also solution provider in India. Let's just jump in into, into the Samsung case where I interviewed Ian Chong um, a couple of days ago. Thanks so much for joining us today, Ian. Yeah. Uh, and um, may I ask you, you know, uh, or may I may I ask you, so can you explain how Samsung uses Wacom technologies in its devices? Sure. So ever since the introduction of the very first Samsung Galaxy Note in 2011, mobile professionals have been using the S Pen to write, annotate, and highlight their way through the workday. The S Pen has rewritten the rules for what a smartphone stylist can do, and we have expanded this across our tablet lineup with the pen as well. And, and even introduced them to our rugged tablets range in Samsung. Using Wacom technology under the sheets, the S Pen creates a real pen experience for its users and have been a staple in our S Pen enabled devices through the past nine years. This innovation has allowed Samsung to further enhance the offering and providing new capabilities such as Bluetooth connectivity, turning the digital pen into a full fledged remote control for taking photos or charging, uh, I mean, changing slides in PowerPoint. Gyro sensors and accelerometers were also added to. Uh, improve the overall writing experience. We also introduced IP68 to provide the confidence needed to withstand water and dust in challenging environments as well. In the latest Note 20 flagship series, we have further enhanced this by introducing AI technology that enables more accurate coordinate uh, prediction. The Galaxy Note 20 series and S Pen offer great handwriting and drawing experience along with significantly reduced latency as well. Wow, that's that's pretty impressive. So that's for the, the hardware side. Are you also collaborating with Wacom on the software side as well? Uh, yes, we are. So we are working on several opportunities, uh, but one of the key things that we're working on uh, is around the dynamic signature verification. I'm happy to share more about that. Great. So. So thinking about this, you know, the, the Samsung Wacom technology combination, can you describe a typical use case, you know, that might be used for enterprises? Because I think we all can relate to consumers using that, but how is this used in an enterprise context? 
So at Samsung, we've been working with many major financial services uh, customers around the world. And in particular, if you look at banks, they are actually undergoing a bank branch transformation uh, across the establishment. So what they've done is that they, they've moved from a transactional basic approach to a customer centric approach. You see, with traditional retail banking, bankers are fixed to the desk at the time, uh, all the time, and, and they are limited to the quality of in interactions with their customers. Therefore, they can't really maximize the, um, the customer visits time, right, during the branch. So together with Samsung, yeah. uh, we've, we've worked on a solution to, to address that. Okay, interesting. So, and, and what, what, specifically, uh, what specific role plays the pen in this interaction? If, if you look at the um, S Pen, and, and in particular in this case, we actually we were working with a national retail bank in US, and they decided to actually consolidate their computing endpoints, in this case, like a PC or thin client, on a Samsung tablet with an S Pen. So, together with that, this allows them to interact with the customer much better. And in, to give you an example, we, with that, they are a bit more mobile, so they can go and engage the customer right at the doorstep. Uh, but at the same time, with, with that capability, they can project the screen uh, onto a TV or monitor in a private area and go through certain financial details using the S Pen as a pointer or to, to write notes, for example, uh, in order to highlight key areas of interest and, and perhaps archive some information for future reference when engaging with the client again. So, and what's the, so is there a benefit for the, for the bank customer as well? Oh, uh, yeah, definitely. So if you look at it, it becomes more personable in the, that sense. So uh, because they're engaging with uh, the, the banker, not at desk, it becomes more of a uh, user journey experience for the bank customer. And they are, they are more personable with the uh, retail banker as well. So this actually creates a, a much better experience. And it, you rather have someone who's uh, in front of you with a tablet who's able to explain things and as though it's a bit more natural compared to having someone who's sitting behind a desk, behind a PC, behind a monitor, right? Uh, which becomes very uh, distant, right? From the customer themselves. Very interesting. So um, are you also using then uh, your Samsung tablets to capture signature and what kind of role will play signature verification in that uh, context? Yeah, yeah, very, very good point. So, I mean, taking that same example that we discussed earlier, uh, where they use the tablet to engage the customer at the bank, um, what they've been doing is that they, they basically can take that and say, for example, if you want to open a bank loan, the banker can actually uh, usher the customer to a desk, right? Connect it to a PC, uh, 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 I mean, connect it to a monitor and turn it into like a PC where they can use the tablet as a signature pad as well. Uh, so with Wacom, we have actually embarked on a solution called a dynamic signature verification, which allows the customer signature to be accurately captured uh, as a biometric signature. What that means is basically you can recognize the speed of the signature, the cadence, the pressure, uh, the accuracy of the strokes to determine if the signature was a fraudulent signature or not. Uh, and in fact, this same verification can also be used to uh, be archived, right, for future verification of documents as well. Yeah. And would you then also say that, you know, this has a security aspect, but also a customer experience aspect because the, you know, the, 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 the bank personnel don't, doesn't have to compare the signature itself, but it's done automatically. So what, what, are, what are the advantages for the bank beyond security or maybe even including the security? Sorry. So good, good point, right? So, um, so couple of things here. One is from a security standpoint, the tablet becomes the only device throughout uh, the, the retail banker site. So it becomes uh, a, a complete, I would say, a fit for purpose device meant for the bank. Uh, but on the other hand, with the S Pen and the capability to look at the signature perspective, um, there's, there's no uh, error when it comes to, because you're using your eyesight to compare different signatures. But Using something like a biometric signature, it's, it's dynamic. It's, uh, it's basically based on electronics. Uh, and using the S Pen, we are able to detect uh, even the simple movements and even the simple pressures that's being uh, pressed onto the screen. So with that, we can actually quickly verify whether this signature was really the customer signature or not. And, and all, all in all, it becomes a very uh, pleasant experience because it's quick uh, and, and you'll be able to verify the documents quickly as well. 
So, Ian, thanks a lot for your time and the insights that you gave us into the collaboration between Wacom and Samsung. And, um, well, and um, looking forward to more successful collaborations. Thank you, and thank you for, for having me here as well. So when it comes to digital pens, many times it's actually Wacom's technology inside, even if you don't see our brand on the device itself. So what many people might not know is that Wacom is not only supporting Samsung, but also many other big names in the computer industry. Yeah, so um, you might have seen in some of the, um, let's say, keynote sessions and breakout sessions in this day, that we're also having technology solutions where we deliver our components and our soft, hard and software components to other companies who implement digital pen and ink into their ecosystems and devices. Samsung is one of them. Samsung is having mobile phones, the Galaxy Note, they're having PCs, notebooks, uh, but also 10-inch Android tablets or 13-inch Android tablets, which are used in a variety of markets. But there's also Lenovo, HP, and other companies doing similar things. Um, we've chosen here Samsung because they have this variety of devices and uh, we're also doing a lot of activities with them in the business area. Uh, for instance, in, in, in mobile banking or in other mobile workflows uh, where they provide the optimum device uh, for signature capturing in, in a mobile area uh, where Wacom decided not to do it ourselves, but work with partners like Samsung. Interesting for us is that they are already also looking into signature verification. So to allow their devices not only to capture a signature, but then also verify the signature to prevent fraud for their customers, for the banks. And also very interesting uh, in, in, the, in the case that we just saw is how the pen does not only support, but even substantially improve the customer interaction. And I think in our next example, we'll even show that in some cases, business actually depend on the digital pen and ink technology, like in the case of MedLife India. Yeah, that's a very interesting case. And in India, um, the doctors we found out are still using paper when they are um, filling out and, and providing prescriptions to patients. But then a lot of those later processes inside the, the pharmacies and, and the depending industry, they are already fully digital. So here, actually, uh, we're trying to bridge, or MedLife, it's our partner there, trying to bridge that gap, still having the prescription filled out and signed by the doctor uh, on paper. But with our clipboard, they can do this digitally and on paper in the same time. So it's like an invisible scan here, like a, a miracle scan here. And then the, the prescription can be transferred to the pharmacy already. Uh, so where then everything will be managed in a digital way. So the bridging the paper world of, of target groups who are still used to work with paper or for some reason have to work with paper, uh, but bridging this to the digital world. Yeah, so uh, we, we created a nice case study last year uh, in India. So let's have a look. A population of 1.3 billion makes India one of the world's biggest healthcare markets. Pharmaceuticals worth hundreds of billions of dollars are sold annually in fulfilling tens of millions of prescriptions. Local regulations, as well as doctor and patient preferences, require every one of these prescriptions to be completed and signed on paper. Nevertheless, leading online pharmacy MedLife wanted to enable a digital workflow that would support their online business model. The challenge, how to digitize prescriptions while retaining the familiar paper-based user experience. The solution MedLife discovered is the Wacom Clipboard, a smart pad that instantly digitizes paper documents as they are completed. My name is Pradeep, Director of Sales Pharma Business at MedLife. We are the biggest online pharmacy and digital healthcare service provider in India. We serve more than 5 million customers and 10,000 doctors across the country. Managing prescriptions lies at the heart of what we do. But in India, many doctors record prescriptions on paper, and this is for two reasons. One, doctors want to write prescriptions. Considering the number of patients a doctor consults in a day, using complex EHR solutions is time consuming and often interrupts patient interactions. Two. Patients are habituated to get a paper prescription signed by a doctor for purchasing medicines at brick and mortar pharmacies or for getting lab tests done. So we needed to find a simple solution 
to efficiently digitize paper prescriptions and capture the doctor signatures all while keeping the interactions between doctor and patient the same we tried couple of solutions but nothing really worked until we chose the vacuum clipboard when a doctor consults a patient he or she diagnoses and writes the clinical findings and necessary medication on the prescription paper and signs it with medlife vacuum solution doctor can save the prescription data with a push of a button on the clipboard without any additional step doctor can retrieve the stored health record anytime anywhere on their mobile phone that's it look like nothing much happened but this is really a revolution because now the patient has the choice either they can take the prescription to nearby pharmacy or they can order the medicine at medlife which will get delivered at their home but it's not only patients that benefit the wacom medlife solution provides significant advantages and great value for doctors as well Most of the patients who visit me are chronic patients, may it be diabetes or hypertension, and who have a long-standing history of treatment as well as procedures. So when I treat patients, I need all the past medical history and as well as the current problems that they have. After MedLife has come, it makes me keep the tracking of these patients easier in that I don't have to maintain a carbon copy every time I see these patients. And uh, going forward, all these details of the patient, may it be the uh problems the complaints are the past medical and treatment history everything is stored on the cloud and use of the clipboard makes me improvise my uh, prescription pattern much more in the fact that i can hand out a prescription to the patient where the patient can go and get the drugs in a nearby pharmacy or the patient can contact medlife for a direct door step delivery which makes the patient get it very easy and the complaints henceforth becomes much more efficient in this matter With close cooperation between multiple teams at MedLife and Wacom, we could solve our business problems by giving simple and easy to use tech solution which help all the stakeholders involved that is patient, doctor, pharmacist and the lab technician. The Wacom clipboard has allowed MedLife to put prescription fulfillment and storage in the cloud without changing the doctor patient experience. It's a great example of how Wacom enables digital processes with a human touch. Wacom for business. More human, more digital. And we are back. So what I find most interesting about the MedLife case is how we're actually able to really bridge between the analog traditional world of paper and the digital world of data where then suddenly everything's possible. Um so in the next and final case that we'll see, uh it's about the idea of creating a, a signature ceremony but in this case without paper but with all the benefits of a digital workflow can you say something about the customer yeah so the customer or well, the partner is imosign who is a software provider in the real estate area customers are of course then real estate agencies or or single people who are buying a house or, or handing over a house or flat um and when you look into your own life everything around your home and flat is so important whether you rent or buy it uh, it's really decision making moment and you read the contracts a few times until you understand all the small printed and then the signature as well is also very ceremonial uh, it's very important and it needs to feel natural trustful and secure and that is what imo sent it with our signature tablet so they try to implement for them a very efficient workflow but for the customer keeping the human element and the human interaction here so it's a very seamless and digital human experience and secure okay so let's listen to the interview bonjour à tous et tout d'abord merci à vincent hello everyone and thank you to vincent aquatil for being part of this event and sharing his experience using wacom signature devices with us vincent first question can you briefly introduce your company your market and the solutions you provide Donc Imosign et In just 3 years, Imosign has become the leader in the real estate market by offering digital solutions, one in particular based on electronic signatures. 
solutions qui tournent autour de la Today, ImmoSign offers services in three main areas. Firstly, we work on software solutions that allow our customers to offer remote and face-to-face -face electronic signature with electronic registered letter solutions. The second field is hardware, where we've established a partnership with Wacom. These hardware solutions come in the form of signature pen tablets or displays and projection screens in signature ceremony. Finally, in our third area, we provide the human resources necessary for the digital transformation of companies. Since the beginning, we decided to set up our teams throughout France in order to meet our clients' needs related to the electronic signature environment and to support our users with necessary training when they begin using our tool. Merci, Vincent. Deux Thank you, Vincent. The second question is, why are you so convinced of the importance of handwritten signatures today and in the future? From the start, when the company ImmoSign was created, we showed a real desire to integrate a handwritten signature tablet to keep the signing ceremony that is often required by the real estate agents we work with. Naturally, we turned to Wacom, which was already very successful with notaries in France. That's why we thought it would be a wise decision to integrate this tool, as it was already familiar to real estate agents. Soon after, to empower our customers, we decided to integrate a signature tablet, not only for its legal application, but also for its psychological effect and the impact it has on the signatories. We quickly started discussions with Sebastian Lorry from Wacom and our legal director, who presented us with an opportunity regarding the possibilities of collecting biometric data. We then chose to integrate two more products from Wacom, the STU430 tablet and the DTU1141, which allows us to make the legal environment even more reliable thanks to their biometric data capabilities. Qui euh, nous permettent cette fois de, euh, de fiabiliser encore plus l'environnement euh, juridique de par ces, euh, de par ces données biomédiques. The third question is, could you please explain why Wacom technology is so important to your solution? Wacom has a proven expertise in biometric data collection technology. This is what attracted us to this partnership and in the listing of these new products. We quickly integrated the STU430, which allowed us to make the signature reliable for our customers. More recently, we integrated an SDK for the DTU1141B, which lets us respond to a very specific problem, at least on French soil. Today in France, a number of problems arise when digitizing documents since the French state protects the customer by asking him to affix certain mandatory information to a signed contract. Up until now, state-of-the-art electronic signatures did not allow us to collect these handwritten attributes electronically in an efficient way. Up until now, state-of-the-art electronic signatures did not allow us to collect these handwritten attributes electronically in an efficient way. That's why we integrated the Wacom SDK. With it, we can understand every customer issue, what they were really going through in their real estate agencies, and thanks to the SDK, we are able to build an interface that solves the problem of collecting all handwritten information. Today, we are the only company in France able to deal with this issue. And the final question, how do you plan to evolve your solution in the future? For 2021, we plan to strengthen our partnership with Wacom as we want to open up new markets nationwide with this solution. 
The idea is to, on one hand, target similar problems identified in the real estate sector by relying on consultants who are present in the field, and then, on the other hand, to integrate other solutions proposed by Wacom, such as the verification of electronic signatures. Thank you so much, Vince, for taking the time to share your experience with us on integrating our electronic signature devices into your business solutions. So, Peter, with partners like Imosign, it's very interesting that there is still a place for the handwritten signature ritual, even in this more and more digital world. So is this true for other industries as well? Yes, Ken. Thank you for the question. Actually, we have seen already three different use cases. We have seen Imosign with real estate applications. We've seen the pharmacy workflow and mobile workflows. And we have plenty of um, cases and plenty of new um, ideas and use cases almost every day, uh, from signing a concert form in a hospital before an operation, from opening a bank account, from renting or buying a car, uh, but also registering in a new city when you move. Or applying for a new passport. So you can see a lot of um, use cases where normally you sign paper forms and where you also have a human interaction with someone behind the counter giving you some consultation. So it's endless yeah. number of cases. Yeah, very, very yeah. fascinating. Yeah. So, and now that we are ending the nearing, uh, the, now, now that we're getting closer to the end of the session, is there a take home message that you want our audience to know? I think you have seen. Um, a variety of different applications of our ink and signature technology, which is part of our lifelong ink concept as Wacom. Of course, BSU Business Solution is focusing here on, on business workflows with customers, with patients. Um, and you have seen, hopefully, that we can implement electronic signatures in a very trustful manner, in a very ceremonial manner. Um, also, legally binding, you have seen that in the session before. Ignacio, um, allowing uh, personal human interaction and a full digital efficiency and security. Yes, yeah, yeah. And, human, human, digital, yeah. or more human, more digital is the claim. Yeah. Uh, and maybe, so. maybe I can, I can add. Uh, I like to say something. Can so what you have seen here is the result of our partners, of our partnerships. So you've seen three different partners, three different cases, and all of them are building the solutions around the world in the different vertical markets. And Vacuum is enabling them with tools, with software tools and hardware tools. And they, of course, build those uh, ink and signature technologies into the different workflows and ecosystems of their customers or their vertical markets. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to our partners because we would be nowhere without them. Exactly. So um, let's see whether we have some questions from the audience. Oh yeah, quite a few. Um, so let's see how many we can answer because we have three minutes left before we have to jump off because this is a tight run ship here. So uh, Peter, can you please summarize the benefits of e-signatures for the financial sector? Okay, in the financial sector, it's mainly banking, um, getting a loan, uh, opening a bank account. The three main advantages. One is of course, you have a paperless workflow. You don't have to care about the paper workflow copying, printing, you can interact with your customer, you can focus on your customer, and you can give consultations and help the customer instead of just doing admin stuff. Because by having a biometric signature, a dynamic signature, you could also use signature verification here, which helps you preventing fraud. And then, of course, the most important one is the acceptance by the customer, by the banking customer, because that feels like signing on paper, it's very trustful, human, and we have doing this in thousands of years, um, signing in our name and giving our intent in that way. So the level of acceptance is very high. Mm -hmm. There's another question uh, that refers to the signature uh, to the signature verification technology that was presented in Samsung's uh, in, the, in the Samsung case. So how does the signature verification technology work? Is the mm -hmm. question. Okay. So we are not capturing only the image, we're capturing the dynamics of a signature. So you can capture the coordinates, the image, the flow, the pressure flow, speed, acceleration, and sometimes even the tilt, depending on which technology you use. With that, you can build a dynamic profile of a signature, and you can use it to compare against samples. 
That means whenever you sign something, a document on the fly, it can be compared with your already given signatures in the system, and that can then avoid uh, forgery and have a secure workflow for the bank, but also for the customer because he knows he is not getting cheated by someone else. And the last question, and uh, let's let's try to give a, to, to to get in a short answer. Uh, does local legislation affect the global implementation of e-signatures? So the short answer, the legal correct answer is it depends on. <laughs> no, it's it's of course legislations in all the regions. They are all different. You have the e-sign act in the U.S. You have IDAS in in, in the EU, which is regulating. Um, legality of electronic signatures, but also requirement when you capture signatures. Uh, they all have something in common that basically electronic signatures are legally binding in most of the countries, most of the cases. Of course, I'm not a lawyer, but Ignacio, who is a lawyer, you can ask him, uh, he knows far more details, I'm not a legal consultant. Um, but in general, it's valid everywhere, it's legally binding. To be very sure for our customers, we have those partner networks who work in the different regions and who are also using then our lawyers or consultants uh, in a project to make sure that a bank, an insurance, or maybe even a government uh, body is having legally binding and very secure signatures at the end. Thank you very much, Peter. I think, uh, unfortunately, that's all we have time for right now. So um, the other guys who, who, who asked the questions, please uh, move over to the, well, sorry, to the virtual booth uh, uh, for Walking for Business. Um, you, you know, we, we, can, we, can, we can continue chilling yeah. there. And uh, well, for now, but uh, I, wanna, I wanna say thank you very much, Peter. And thank you very thanks, much. Thanks Ken. a lot for the audience, uh, for your attention. And well, have a great rest of Connected Inc. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Bye-bye and see you in the chat. Huh? Or write you.